Natasha Jonas versus Marie Yves Decare. The fight is almost here. In less than 12 hours, we'll be seeing this fight take place over in Manchester, over in the UK, to be shown live for the UK fight fans on Sky Sports. Over here in the USA, if you live here in the US like I do, this fight, this event will be shown live on Fight TV. As you guys can see, they recently had their weigh-ins. Um, and at the weigh-ins, uh, both fighters did make weight, weighing in below the 154-pound weight limit with Marie-Yves Decare, the IBF junior middleweight champion of the world, weighing in at 152 and one-fourth of a pound. And the unified WBC and WBO champion, Tasha Jonas, weighed in at 149 and one-fourth of a pound. She even had her shirt on. I think lately she's, she doesn't even have to worry about you know, losing every single ounce. So she just has her shirt on um, whenever she weighs in. Uh, lately, she does weigh in at 149 uh, in her previous fights against Patricia Bergolt and Chris Namus. She did weigh in basically the same at 149 and one fourth a pound. Uh, as for Marie-Yves Decare, um, she does tend to weigh around this weight, 152, 153. So no surprise that uh, both fighters made weight and um and yeah i'm honestly just looking forward to the fight looking forward to the event uh should be a fun one again it sucks well it's i'm happy that fight tv is showing it here in the states um but it's 10 bucks <laughs> 10 dollars to watch this event is it worth 10 dollars um that's up to you to decide i mean the the the, the co-feature the co-main event and the rest of the card ain't bad. It's more of mainly it's mainly a domestic event over in the UK. Um, so so yeah, it's up to you if you think it's worth ten dollars if you live in the US. Uh, anyway, I made a prediction video not long ago on this fight. Shout out to the three people that commented on the video. Shout out to Dennis F. Boston who said Tasha is a seven-one favorite. So most people think she's going to have an easy night, but I don't think so. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong many times before. Sound familiar? LOL. Yes, sir. I do say that a lot. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it. I think a lot of people are being ta ta Tasha, like I am. Um, I just think that in her, her previous fights, the momentum she she currently has going for her going into this fight is really good. If this fight, if you ask me who would win this fight a couple years ago or a few years ago, I'd easily pick uh, Marie Yves Decare, but after the last couple fights of Tasha Jonas, I'm leaning towards Tasha. RS, shout out to RS who said, I want Decare to win. He has good footwork, decent speed. Jonas has lost to Obenouf. Not only lost, but got KO. Don't forget that. But since it's in the UK, it will favor Jonas if it goes the distance. Just saying. Um, well, that's a possibility. I mean, this is a sport of boxing after all. Uh, but like I said, the, going into this fight, the momentum that uh, Jonas currently has. I, I like her chances in winning this fight. Yes, Decare has very good footwork. Very good footwork. Um, but I don't think she can hurt Tasha. I don't think that power of hers will hurt Tasha. Um, but we'll see. We will see. Uh, then shout out again to Dennis F. Boston who said, I think Decare was sitting down her punches. More she's going to have if she wants to keep Tasha off her. I was saying Mary uh, wins by the split decision by outboxing Tasha. Um, and here's the thing too. I, I think if it goes a distance, I think it will be a close fight. And Terrence are if it goes to a close fight, Tasha will win this fight, in my opinion. But who knows? What do I know, right? <laughs> Anything is possible in sport of boxing. Um, honestly, again, I'm just looking forward to a great event, great card. A lot of fights taking place today in the next 24 hours. And uh, just looking forward to watching all the fights or as many fights as I can before I head to work. And um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.